co-owner of the Vancouver Canadians, Jay Kerr, joining us right now. We will talk about the team in a second because there's big things happening, but fashion is at the forefront today, sir, and you have quite the reputation in the city. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not aware of it, but it's nice to hear. Breaking news. <laughs> there you go. People are noticing think, the details. I think the big news for today is the, the playoffs. The Canadians are in them for the fifth year in a row, mm -hmm. and... Uh, Given that it doesn't rain tonight, it should be a big night at the stadium. You know, we support the Canadians here on the show. We also, myself included, am supporting good fashion ideas from the men, especially going into the fall season. And uh, given your attention to detail, let's talk about this and the accessorizing that can happen with the watches and the cufflinks. Well, I, I think it's the little things make the difference. And uh, I like very much to have French cuffs so I can wear cufflinks. I switch them around every few days. They can be everything from these things that are seized cufflinks links we give away to fans and to uh, uh, people who support the team. Nice. Um, I, don't know, I, I think that uh, watches, it's, they don't need to be expensive, but it's good to have two or three watches, one that you wear in the daytime, another for dress up. Uh, and they can be a lot of fun. They can be really cheap. Uh, I like ones with colored bands. And, and uh, again, they, you can ma match them up with your outfits. Uh, I notice, for instance, you have a pocket square. I really think that's important. Now, there's some people who don't like them, I get that, but I think that they're a very good look and a, a great accessory. What's more important to you, color or pattern when it comes to the accessories? Mm, color, probably. I, I'm not that big into patterns. I wear a lot of sport coats in the fall that have a pattern to them, but as far as suits go, I'm pretty much, uh, you know, old school. Uh, I like a stripe. I like uh, a straight color. And old school versus new school. You're bringing the shoes. Let's talk about the shoes, the staple. If a man's going out to buy a good pair of shoes this fall, what's he looking at? And I know you love your socks, too. Well, he's he's going for what you've got on, either a pair of dress boots like that or a, a pair of lace-ups, probably in black. You don't need a whole bunch of shoes. I mean, the, the shoes that are on the screen are a perfect example of uh, a standard shoe that can be worn with a suit. You can wear it. Uh, you can dress it down. Uh, I'm wearing an old pair of Crocodile Lovers. It's 25 years old. Uh, again, if you buy something that's pretty good in the beginning, they'll last. I resold them over and over. Uh, they're an old Ralph Lauren shoe they don't make anymore. Uh, but again, if you buy quality one time and take care of them, your shoes have got to be clean. They've got to be uh, well shined. It's a good idea to have an investment piece when it comes to shoes and take care of them so we're not going year after year buying new ones. Now, when it comes down to the suits, what's the number one thing you look for? Uh, good tailoring. It's got to be well cut. Uh, you're better off to pay more and have one suit uh, than to have a bunch that are just kind of not right. And there the key is the tailor. Now, the tailor can be uh, in an apartment store uh, or he can be an individual. Like uh, I uh, mentioned to you earlier, we we're talking about oh, this guy down on Seymour Street, Samson, who isn't expensive, but he's really into the detail, whether it's custom buttons or having your, your buttons on your sleeve uh, unbuttoned. Uh, it, you can tell. You can tell in a minute whether a guy uh, gets it in terms of what he's wearing. And you know, that's a great point to take a staple piece and then add your own customized touch to it with a good tailor. So uh, you were saying down on Seymour, Samson, that's that's your place. Yeah. All right. Deal. We like that. Jay Kerr, thanks so much for Thank coming you. on with the tips.